Hey everybody, I'm back again with a quick demo of the Pi PPM hardware. So this time I want to focus on covering some of the technical details that I didn't hit on in the last demonstration. And I really want to hit on exactly how to use this, how it's set up, and what factors I'm, I'm thinking about when I set this experiment up. So first thing I have to do is set the stand up. Now this is really just a PVC structure that I built with PVC and PVC glue uh, and it's modular so it fits together out in the field wherever I need to run it. Uh, the whole idea of mounting the coil up this way is to get it away from any sources of ferrous objects, you know, anything that can distort the field that's in the ground. So you know, there could be clay or um, ferrous rocks or pipes or wires under the ground that could be disrupting the field homogeneity and we want to avoid that so bringing the coil up a little bit above the ground helps with this and gives you a little bit better homogeneity now the other thing I'm doing is I'm setting the coil up to be 90 degrees to the Earth's magnetic field so I've already taken a reading of the rough field magnitude and direction with my phone and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to give a rough positioning of the coil based on that vector that I measured. So, you know, it's it doesn't have to be exact, but effectively you lose signal strength uh, kind of as the cosine of the angle between your coil and the Earth's magnetic field. So you really want as much of a 90 degree angle as possible. So, you know, just shifting that a little bit to really get it aligned against the magnetic field. And we want it to be stable, although this thing is rickety as ever. <laughs> it is not stable, so uh, I'd like to build a maybe a little more sturdy structure for doing these experiments later on. So the next thing is I just need to connect up uh, the BNC connector to the coil. What I have is just alligator clip to BNC adapters here this is not a scope probe. I repeat, this is not a scope probe. This is just an adapter setup. So we don't have any kind of special frequency response in this cable. So I'm just hooking that to the Pi PPM and letting it dangle for now. The next thing is I want to get a USB cable on this. And you'll notice that I'm, I'm still trying to keep everything away from the sensor coil. That coil is extremely sensitive to any kind of RF or AF electromagnetic interference. So we really want to minimize that when we set everything up in the field. So hooking the laptop into the USB and then I need a polarization source and that's a car battery here. Uh, this was taken out of a Honda CRV. Um, it's just a really standard 14-ish volt car battery. The idea is that you really want something that can provide a consistent and fast on polarization of a few amps. So the cold cranking amps of a car battery is sufficient. Now you could hook this just as easily to a power supply if you are indoors. And I've yet to do that, but I plan to use this with a power supply in version 2. So just booting up the computer now and getting everything initialized. Uh, I'm checking for the status lights on the Pi PPM, making sure everything's talking, and then we can get into running the scripts. Okay, so here's a screen recording of that day at the field. And I'm just going to load in an example script that I had prepared already. It's just called exampt.py. We'll look at the contents later. So right now it's running. It's collecting a polarization-free acquisition and then polarizing and collecting another acquisition. So we'll be able to do a spectral subtraction and only get the NMR signal. So that's a result. This is the Fourier transform data, and you can see right in there is a unique peak at about 2.281 kilohertz. That's our NMR signal that's coming from the sample. Zoom in on that a little more. What I'm going to do is just close this window, and the script's going to plot the noise minimized result, which is just a least squares minimization of the difference between those two. And now we're just seeing that unique NMR signal. So I'm going to take that, zoom in, and get, you know, a, a ballpark estimate of the center of that peak. It's about 2281 hertz. And we can take that and divide it by the gyromagnetic ratio 
for protons, and that's our field strength, 53.5 microtesla. So this is a complete example of how to use the pi ppm to measure the magnetic field strength of the Earth. Now let's take a look then at the contents of this script and see exactly what got executed. So it's just a regular Python program. I'm importing my module first and then numpy and matplotlib. And I have that noise removal function that's documented in the source tree. It's actually in some markdown. Gives you an idea of how it works. I connect to the device and then I load my pulse program. It's in a choir and then a non-adiabatic uh, experimental setup. I execute the pulse program and I slice out the two acquisitions. Fourier transform and then remove the noise and then we have plotting. And that's really as easy as it is.